What's up everybody, what's up? I thought I'd do this video of Chris Brown. I already did one of them, like a few years ago. That was like my main, one of my main videos I ever did. Was talking about Chris Brown. If he can hit a woman, he can do time in jail. And it was on my CeeLo Jr. too. Go look it up. Find out, uh, go, look, go to my channel, look up that video, and you'll find it. But it's like this, y'all. It's like this. I heard rumors that Rihanna is going to shake back up with Chris Brown. To me, that's bullshit. Why would this woman want to get back with a man that whipped her ass? Whipped her ass. And I've said that not did videos about uh, domestic violence, uh, abuse. And not a damn person is paying attention. See, this is this is what it is. Y'all glamour, y'all y'all glamorize these two people so damn much. You glamorize these people so damn much. Y'all thought it was cool. Y'all thought it was cool when Rihanna got her ass beat by Chris Brown because half of y'all are letting that shit happen now in your life because y'all seen Rihanna get her ass whipped and you thought if you get your ass whipped you be like Rihanna. Half y'all be the other half is, is is agreeing with me. The other half agrees with me agrees with me about this shit I don't see how in the hell these two motherfuckers are gonna get back together yes I call them motherfuckers if Rihanna's stupid enough to take a fucking hit in the face she deserves to be in the coffin to me it's like yes I'll give people the old uh, a motto or whatever where you got two options you can leave their fucking abusive relationship or, or, or you die. To me, it's like this. I'm tired of preaching to certain people. So it's like if you're gonna stand in an abusive relationship or shack up with the guy that whipped your ass or the woman that whipped your whipped your ass, you deserve to die. You deserve to be dead. Y'all probably sitting up there saying that's harsh to say, Afro Joe. And I think that was kind of wrong. No, fuck this shit. When they start sitting up, when big dumbass people start getting back with the fucking people that beat their ass they deserve to get killed by their significant others, their abusers cause I'm tired of sitting up here watching the same damn thing happen over and over again every fucking day people that's been abused, they don't want to leave the relationship because they say oh I love the person love don't come with a punch in the face when a person is punch you in your motherfucking face beating your ass Mark is everywhere, right in front of your kids. That is not love. That's an ass whooping. That's an ass whooping. If she gets back with Chris Brown, go ahead. I, I ain't gonna. When she dies, I'm not gonna cry no tears over this bitch. I call her a bitch because that's what she is. If she gonna shut it back up with Chris Brown, I'm not gonna cry no tears. And I think people shouldn't cry no tears over her if she gets killed by Chris Brown. Don't cry, don't cry no tears over Rihanna if she get her ass killed by Chris Brown. Don't, because you're wasting your damn time giving a, giving a damn about her. I don't give a damn about her no more. Yeah, I think she's a beautiful woman, but all that, all that shit, I, I just don't give a damn about her no more. I don't give a, I don't care. I don't care about her. Yeah, she did some good, had some good songs, but hey man, if you're going to get back with them, you deserve to die. Chris Brown, you stupid as shit too. You gonna shut back up with this girl that's after restraining on her on your ass? Dude, you better think twice before you do that shit again. That shit been that shit should have been circled in your mind something. Y'all know wants to get back with me. But she slapped a restraining on her. Which is it? Fucking Rihanna or spending time in prison. Fucking Rihanna, spending time in prison. That should have been running through your mind. Cause pussy Pussy is not in that pussy is not that important in life. Your life is the is more important than getting some ass or making money. I'd rather have my freedom than sit up there and be with somebody that can have me locked up. This girl can set you up and have you sitting off in a fucking jail cell. 
Uh, but like I said, I don't give two shoots of fuck. I still think he needs to be sitting in a jail cell. Because one thing is about this boy, if you can punch a woman, you can spend time in the penitentiary. That's how it is. If you can punch a woman, you can spend time in the penitentiary. Because one thing is, I think it's bullshit how this man walked away, not serving no time. Fuck that probation. Forget that probation shit. I did a video about this girl. They got fucked up back in the 80s. Her husband loved her too much. He beat her every day for five years, and she left. Had a son with a two years old, two year old son two-year-old son and he she left her husband because his abuse still married to him did get separated but she left him what happened to her he stabbed her he cut her slit her she slit her slit her throat kicked her in the head now this one is fucked up for life because the police didn't do their damn job the justice system failed to do the protection come on now if this girl Rihanna loses her life, that show you how much the fucking police give a damn. That tells you how much uh, the justice system has failed the people. But like I said, man, if she gets back with Chris Brown, I will not come to her funeral. I will piss on her grave and shit in her coffin. Because I really don't have time to be wasting my motherfucking time on a dumb bitch that want to get back with the man that beat her ass. Chris Brown is stupid in the box rocks to get back with this girl after she slapped a fucking restraining on him. See, I think, I'm for real though, I don't think that Chris Brown should have got probation. I think this motherfucker should have got some years in a jail cell getting his booty poked out by Big Bubba. That's what I'm thinking. Rihanna, she need to get some fucking help. She don't need to go be going to another country to get help. No, bitch, you need to go see a therapist. Call on Dr. Phil or something. Cause that's dumb shit. Call Dr. Phil, call Dr. Drew. Shit, bitch, you need help. Makes no sense for a dumbass woman to go back to the man that beat her ass. You can say, oh, I love him. Love don't come with a punch in the face. If y'all support this shit, if y'all support it, Chris Brown and Rihanna getting back together y'all is just as dumb as they are that tells me that you in an abusive relationship your damn self you probably sitting there right, right now sitting right now oh yeah baby you heard about Chris Brown getting back with Rihanna and, you, and your man punches you in the face when you support dumb people when you support people like Chris Brown and Rihanna when you support, well, actually, take that back. If you still support Chris Brown hitting women, you're a bigger fool. You're a dumbass. That means you in a either in a abuse uh, in an abusive relationship, and you like getting your ass whipped by your girlfriend, or boyfriend, husband, wife, fiance. Then your ass deserves to die if you're not gonna roll out. For real, pussy is not that important. Love don't come with a fist in the face. I'm telling you, life is too damn short to fool around with somebody whipping your ass on a daily basis. Yeah, I'm about, y'all might be sitting there thinking, well, you don't have to be so damn mean about the afro. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm sick of this shit. I am sick of this shit. I'm not going to support two people to think abuse is cool as shit. They are the poster child for abuse and domestic violence. I'm for real, they are the poster child for domestic violence and abuse. And y'all supporting that shit. Oh, I think we and Chris Brown need to get back together. Why? I'm tired of this shit, man. Don't be defending these people and shit. Oh, he's changed. Changed my ass. Abusive motherfucker never changed. Like they say, a zebra never changes his stripes. Can 
never changes his stripe. That motherfucker's gonna be always labeled as a fucking abuser. If y'all down with the abuser motherfucker, then you a stupid as shit and you like and you love getting your ass whipped. Half of y'all probably sitting there, half the women today are sitting up there thinking. Half of y'all are probably sitting there thinking, it's like, uh, he can hit me anytime. Okay, I'll be at your funeral too, shitting in your coffin and pissing on your grave. Because I really don't have time for motherfuckers that support Chris Brown beating the shit out of Rihanna. <laughs> I ain't got time for this shit. Y'all can sit there and send it to everybody. I, I, wish, I dare y'all to send this video to everybody you know. Everybody you know, because I really don't have fucking time for this shit. If Chris Brown don't like what I got to say, he can kiss my ass and burn the hell for all I care. If Rihanna don't like what I got to say, hey, shit, you can burn the hell right along with them. You stupid enough to sit up here and let this, meet, let this motherfucker beat your ass. Damn, I'm just, I'm just sick of motherfuckers. Two motherfuckers in the entertainment business glamori glamorizing abuse glamorizing abuse how do you glamorize abuse how do you glamorize domestic violence that's the question how do you glamorize that shit how it makes no sense that people like Chris Brown and Rihanna glamorize domestic violence and abuse I think if she gets if they get back together they the new I can Tina they the new I can Tina of 2012 and that's how it is man Afro Joe ain't got time for this shit Afro Joe don't feel like going through this shit nothing if the if if the news came on today and they say Rihanna Rihanna died from domestic violence first I'm gonna do is turn make another video and say you know what I told this bitch she is not going to be a woman to me. She's going to be a bitch. Chris Brown, he's going to be a pile of horse shit to me. I cannot respect a person that beats on women or respect a person and think that abuse is the coolest thing on the block or domestic violence. If y'all support to these two people, then y'all love getting your ass whipped by your partners. Y'all love that domestic violence. Y'all love that abuse. And that's how that is. I'm tired of sitting up here watching these motherfuckers glamorize these damn domestic violence bullshit and think it's all cool and shit, thinking, oh, it's okay for everybody else to do. Follow the trend. Follow the trend. Kick my ass, motherfucker. Fuck that shit. Life is more important than getting your ass whipped on a daily basis by your partner. That's how it is. That's how it is, man. I really don't have time for this Billy Jack bullshit. Like I said, let this mother, like I said, let this motherfucker kill her. I ain't gonna cry. I ain't gonna boohoo. I ain't gonna say shit. But say, you know what? I'm glad the bitches did. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm glad she did because she was stupid enough to let this man beat on her ass again. I really don't have time. You probably say, "Well, why you keep saying I really don't? Have, you really don't have time?" Cause I don't. Why you keep saying domestic violence and abuse? Because that's what it is. Y'all motherfuckers are blind by the bullshit, though. I'm. I got. Uh, y'all. Y'all just glamorizing. Y'all. All the women snap at. Oh, we love Chris Brown. We love Chris Brown. Oh, did you love him when he beat the shit out of Rihanna? What y'all do when he beat the shit out of Rihanna? Y'all left. Y'all left. Y'all was feeling more sorry to Rihanna. And when Chris Brown was coming back and started trying to get people to love him again, y'all went right back to that bullshit. If y'all support that shit, y'all is really down with domestic violence and abuse. You really love getting your ass whooped on a daily by your fucking mate. By your soulmate. By your significant other. Cause that's how that's that's how this shit that's how it is, man. Motherfuckers want to glamorize it like this shit. Now this has been Afro Joe telling like a T I motherfucking is. If you like this video, give me a comment, video response. Subscribe to my channel, my two channels, CeeLo Junior Two and CeeLo Junior Three. Follow me on Twitter, at Afro Joe the Wookie. 
make sure you check out Mother Wookie's videos at Mother Wookie on YouTube. Thank y'all. Like I said, if Rihanna gets back with him, she deserved to die, and I'm gonna piss, in her, piss on her grave and shit in her coffin, cause this motherfucker ain't got time for it. And this has been Afro Joe. If you don't like what I can say, kiss my ass and burn the hell. I made a saying after he, after after he abused her the first time. I made a saying: If you ain't down with the wookie, go Chris Brown yourself. So if you support abusive relationship, go Chris Brown yourself. And this has been Afro Joe. Peace.